Hello everybody, in this the 15th episode of the dev blog, we are going to go ahead and add chests to the sub game because you gotta have some place to store stuff and chests are obviously the best option. Um, no, I don't know for sure on this, but I went ahead and created a new mod called storage. And, um, we have a chest file. We're going to put the chest in here. I may make other storage things. Um, if you're familiar with my mods, I have a drink mod that lets you make a bunch of different fruit juices and vegetable juices and stuff. I may put the machines that actually hold the juice in here because those are kind of storage containers but i might not because they don't really store items they store metadata i might just use this for things that have inventories that you can actually put things into like bookshelves and crates and barrels so uh yeah that's pretty much that now i'm kind of just going to copy and paste a bunch of this well i won't really but or it's pretty much what i'm doing um in my test game, they made a function now for registering chests, which I don't remember that being the case before, but with them opening and closing now, uh, they, I think they changed that. But there's all this code that I don't completely understand, but there is two important things to point out. Um, because we have client-side modding now, we have to allow image... or have to put in callbacks for whether or not we should allow inventory to be moved and to be placed or taken. I guess if those three callbacks don't exist, client-side modding would actually let you take stuff out of chests that you shouldn't be able to take stuff out of. So that's just a little note. Um, this is my, this is code from my survival mod and it has a barrel in it. And I'm just going to actually copy and paste all of that code right into Atom. And then we are going to chop it to bits. So first off, of course, the name is going to be storage. And I think I'll just call it chest. The draw type is definitely not a mesh because it's just a square chest. So we will just call this chest um tiles well i don't have any yet so it's just gonna be blank uh does need a faster yes i don't have any sounds yet so comment that line out on construction we want to set a form spec and set a string yes we do want to do those uh and we want to set an inventory as well so I'm going to change the inventory sizes. I think I may actually even change the player's inventory size and introduce backpacks. That way there's uh, a little more progression that you can have. You can carry more stuff when you have a backpack, obviously. Um, but yeah, we'll kind of see that when I pull it up in the game. All of this on metadata, inventory, move, put, and take. I'm going to get rid of all that. I just put stuff in the log. But I don't think I really care about any of that and I can always add it back in later if I want. Can dig function is important for anything that stores inventory. And all it does here is it gets the metadata of that node. I have no idea why there is a semicolon there. That's weird. Get rid of that. Uh, and then it gets the inventory from the metadata. And if the inventory is empty, it lets you dig it. If there's something in inventory, then it can't be dug, which is important because if you dig something that has inventory in it, you lose the inventory. So that's an important thing to have. Uh, and then we have a barrel form spec here, which we're going to go ahead and change this. So we're going to have a local, uh, you know what? We're going to do local wooden chest form spec, and we're going to change this to wooden underscore chest, and description I will change to wooden chest, because I'm going to have several tiers of chests, and as you tier up, the chests will be able to hold more items in them. 
Kind of like the uh, Technic mod, I believe. I think it's Technic. Yeah, it's Technic. That has, uh, you can like make metal chests and stuff. And as you put more and more things into these chests, and by that I mean in the crafting of them, you know, so you make a wooden one, you make an iron one, which is wood surrounded by iron, and then that you can make into like a copper or something by surrounding a metal one, or the iron one with copper ingots. And it just keeps, you keep increasing your inventory storage and a few other little features, which I'm actually going to try to put into these, but I think the features are going to be tierless. Everything should have them because they're nice features and I dislike not having them. All right, so for starters, our wooden chest form spec is not going to be using any of this default stuff. It's all going to be using common because we don't have a default anymore. So we need to change that. Um, we also are going to have to... Do I have file browser open here? No. Okay, we have to go to... We're going to have to add a depends file. I don't know why I didn't know. Because I topped it wrong. And storage. And then we need to create a new document. It definitely depends on common. Because we're using a few common defined things there. Um, I think that is still right but you know what let's go ahead and open the gamer file i can't imagine that i would have changed oh wait i don't think i want that i think i want to open the common yeah and still current player and main and everything so uh, those should be good though we'll probably end up changing those sizes default get hot bar hot bars don't exist let me just double check that. I think I got rid of them because they were useless. Yeah. Because the hot bar doesn't really make sense. Let's open this up. I don't know why it... Uh, some new setting. It's supposed to save screen size. But the screen size always seems to be bigger than I left it at. I don't know. It's probably something I'm doing wrong. Okay, let's go to this world. And uh, sure, let's just do that. Let's hope this will even load. Nope, because I have nil values. In line 29. What do I have in 29? I'm just closing the... Wait, what? Mod storage. Attempt to concatenate a nil value. What? How so? Oh, that's not line 29, though. It's line 19. What in the world? Yeah, this needs to be changed to wooden chest form spec. Okay, and we still have that error. I don't understand why it says line 29. Line 29 points to the closing brace which works. Interesting. Well, let's see what we may have goofed up here. Okay, local meta, my test to get meta position, such string form spec, wooden chest form spec, which is defined right there. Oh, you know what? I think I may need to add a table to storage so that form spec can exist or not. Very interesting. What am I doing wrong? Size shouldn't matter. None of that matters. Oh, that's where the problem is. It was trying to add my test register node as the next line. So what happens when you delete lines? Yep, that's exactly what the problem was. Okay, so now what did I want to do here? Uh, maybe try to find a chest. All right, we have a wooden chest. It has no texture currently. It is placeable. It opens. 
Nu ligger det chest inventory. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. But I think, as I said, I want to make it smaller. But how much smaller? If I'm going to drop the player inventory smaller, and I'm thinking I'll probably just, I'll keep it eight wide. And I'll just go three high so you'll lose eight slots. But then you'll have a backpack. Somehow accessible. I don't know. That's not the scope of this video. The scope of this video is this chest. What if I pull off those? So we'd be going six wide, right? Let's see. We want to list current name. Yep, instead of eight, let's change that to six and from four down to three. So it's going to hold quite a bit less, actually. Um, spacing from the top, I don't know why they're spaced down like that. So I'm going to change that. And I think I just need to change that to one. All right, I will destroy that and then relaunch it because if it's not destroyed oops the form spec will not be updated okay um good but we're missing something actually you know what this stuff's all bumped in a bit anyway current player 6.08 4.85? Why is that so screwy? Let me see. Is the player inventory and in gamer? Nope, it's part of common, I guess. Okay, let's. Here we go. The player inventory does not. And actually, the easier way to just do this. Yeah, I don't have that goofy 0.3 stuff. I have 3.5 for something. Of course, I am looking at, I think this is, yeah, this is what I'd want because I have the trash. Trash can there. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, I don't have any weird spacing going up. That is the um, player craft there, zero, zero. So, the chest should follow in same fashion so it starts at zero there and the side should also be at zero for the players inventory now i'm not sure why i have because they're splitting up the hot bar off of the non-hot bar or i guess i should say i am splitting that and i don't split it here because i saw no point in doing that so Let's go ahead and eliminate that line. Make sure we get rid of those two trailing dots. Okay, so we're going to list the chest, which will be in set one. And then we want to list the players. And if this is three spaces high, let's just set that to four, eight, and that should be four. Pretty sure that's right. We're going to find out in a second here. Let's go ahead and destroy that. And... Okay, well, we're, we're getting closer. I do want to have a space here because I'm going to put some buttons in here, actually. Um, our spacing's fine there. We just need to change the height on this we're eight nodes wide which is correct one two or inventory spaces slots whatever one two three four five six seven eight so we should have an eight by eight fingers crossed that should be right let's try it out man i need to put that chest in my first slot Okay, we're still looking at way too much space on the bottom. Why is that? Current player starts at zero to the side and four up and down, which is correct. Maybe it's just the fault of the outline here. Well, let's change 
I don't remember now. Do I need to change the first or the second? I need to change the second. Let's change it to 7.75. I hate having to get all hacky with this, but I think that's what it's going to take. Alright, and I am not wanting to put out the wrong stuff. Okay, 7.75 looks... Wow, why so many trains today? I don't know if you guys can hear the horns, but... One literally just went by when I started recording. So I waited till it was done, and here's a second one coming through. I can't have been going that long. Alright, so this is good. We are going to put some things in here. Of course, if I'm changing the player inventory to be... Whatever. So the, um, the hop bar thing that I just got rid of, that this top row is treated as special because they're the ones that you see, you know, right here that you can scroll through. But I see no reason why in inventory they should be denoted special over this. And it just, that doesn't make sense to me. Like, there I don't. It is still set up because I haven't changed the code for those screens, but this screen has been. But okay, that is that. Um, let's go ahead and close my test for a second and go here and say what in the world do I need to do? Um, is it just allow metadata inventory move? Return count. I don't honestly understand what all that means. So, we open Google Chrome. And that's not actually what I want, but we will just go ahead to the dev wiki, which, uh, why is that not? Oh, because it's dev mind test. And I guess we're going to open up to compiling, because that's what our default or not my default, but my history point two. And we will wait an extremely long time for this page to load. Alright, and then we need, uh, no, actually it's, what is it, register, register node, that's what we want. And that concludes all of the callbacks here. So let's go ahead. Called when a player attempts to move an item or items from one inventory slot to another within the node's inventory. Should you turn the actual number of items allowed to move from zero if the move is not allowed to count if the items may be removed inclusive. Used by log trust to ensure only the item can modify them. Allow metadata inventory puts and take and all of these are the same and then if it's moved we can do something like print what they moved. But I don't care about what somebody moved within their chest or put into their chest does not come across as an important thing to me okay so let's go ahead and copy that now of course this is going to be uh, eh, kind of useless in single player mode but uh, and actually I don't need any of this what am I thinking this is an unlocked chest this chest anybody should be able to steal stuff from. It wouldn't matter if they have client-side modding with a mod that lets them do it or not. Because it's an unlocked chest. So this is just needed for locked chests. Well, let's get rid of that then. Okay. Let's figure out what it is I'm trying to figure out. So to do that, I need to open up... Um... Let's go ahead and go to spawn and do vending machines. Let's take a look at the code for vending machines. Because that has what I want. Okay, we have a field. Why is that one not perfect? Okay, so we want to add in a, a field, I guess. Just copy that line. And we are going to go ahead and it'll be listed between these two. So I think it would make sense to place it between those two in the callout 
or the list or whatever you want to call it here, it doesn't matter where you put it because the numbers define where everything's placed. Okay, so where is this thing being placed? Because this is totally not where it should be placed right now. Let's go ahead and place this at... Okay, now it... I might have to change that because I don't know <clears throat> if that place is where the text starts for the description i think it does and three yeah that sounds good okay and then we will put this as description or wait now i'm confused is that what i want we have s name store name unconfigured rendering machine okay yeah this is the internal let me point to the code and atom this is the internal this is the label and this is the default. So the default is actually going to be blank. I think that's what I want. We're going to find out. I don't know. It should be a local is what it should be, but that's not going to. Well, whatever. We'll figure it out. So then we need to, uh, at some point, take that into consideration, I guess, right? I don't know how this works because I go ahead and all right. So I think what I need to do is put a local here or put a value, which means this probably needs to be in a function. I bet that's how it works. Okay. Let's go ahead and exit that. And this needs to be a function that'll be passed or it needs to be a variable that'll be passed through which we will just call name, I guess. Man, I don't know if that's right or not. Okay, well, because theoretically now I have to add a save button too. I think. Can I just make it automatically save when I close? Probably not. So we'll go ahead and we'll add a save button. It's not a, it's not a big deal doing that. We just need a button. I, do I still have Chrome open? Yeah, I do. Good. Um, can I add a button that doesn't exit the farm spec? Because I don't actually want to exit. Though I may have to anyway. To make it work, button, label the text button, click a button when clicked. Fields will be sent. Because I don't think I can. No, actually, I can update form specs when I look at them because I've done that in other mods. Okay, so let's add a button in here. And we are going to do button. And we need to know uh, where it's going to be located. Which, let's go ahead and do 4-3. So that should be behind it someplace. And the how wide does the button need to be? Oh, one by one, maybe? I don't know. And uh, we'll just put save. All right, so now when we hit save, okay, let's minimize Chrome. Don't you just love watching videos where the person making the video didn't write a script and has no idea what they're talking about? Except I do know what I'm talking about, but I don't have a script and it just goes forever because they were too lazy to have stuff prepared ahead of time. This is all messed up with this indentation. Which is weird because it displays right in Atom. Interesting. Well, what we need to do now is do an on receive fields. I believe. Right? On receive fields. I don't know how much I have to do though. Maybe I should just even try to view this and see if it's working at all on receive fields we're going to need to get the get the meta and the inventory and then uh if fields save do i need to have local node i'm not swapping the node in fact i don't need the inventory either 
I do need the meta though because I am setting a info text. Yeah. Okay, I think I've got it here. So we need if fields. Wait, what? That doesn't make sense. But I guess that's how it is. If fields save, then we want to make a set string info text, and that info text should be set to. Fields description. Hmm. That means this would have to be fields description, but it. I don't know. I don't think this is going to work. But we going to try it. Um, so I spell my test right. All right, let's see. Hmm. Attempt to concatenate global name and nil value. Yeah, I figured as much. So this is this is what we'll do. We'll go ahead and make a local called name. Local name equals stuff. That'll at least let us theoretically see the chest. Store name. I never did change it, did I? Nope. And it displays the label above the field. Okay, that's that's all right. We just need to drop this lower then. And I don't know why. If that's set to one, why is that offset from the inventory spot slot? Well, it should be lining up with this. <sighs> Form specs are so screwy. It shouldn't be matching up to a chunk through this. Oh, man. Okay, well, we need to make it lower. So let's change this to 3.3 .3 because 0.3 seems to be right. And I guess 1.3. Might bump it over to match up there. The width of it, though, let's change that down to 2. And, uh... I think we'll just put label text. I don't see my save button though. It's supposed to be at 4-3. Button should be a one by one. Interesting. Let's go ahead and destroy that. Exit. Go right back in. Place a new chest. That's kind of fixed, but my button still doesn't exist. Interesting. Very interesting. Why does that button not exist? 4-3 is its location. Let's go ahead and change that to... Yeah, because if the player's inventory is starting at node 4, 3 would be above that. Let's go ahead and just change it to 5. I mean, that button should be displayed in here someplace. Where is my save button? This is so weird. I don't get... In oh, wait. I do invalid button element. Okay, well, that explains why I'm not getting a save button. What's wrong with my button element? Where's... Did I close Chrome? Why did I do that? Nope. It's on my other screen. Button, button, button. What did I do wrong? Clickable. Name label. When clicked, fields will be sent. Oh. Yeah, I guess... I should probably... Do that. Alright, let's see what happens this time around. Hey, I have a save button. Which, let's go ahead and change this. I don't think it's going to work, but... Change to say hi. Click save. And it still says stuff. 
Okay. I figured I was going to have to throw a function here to do this. Man, I didn't want to do that. Okay, but that is working. The location is way off. Let's put that to 3-3. Three, three. I think I'm going to put the function in off camera because I'm not positive on how to do that. There we go. A save button. That does say stuff though, so let's change this to say hi. And now this does say hi. And this is barrel. Why didn't the... Oh yeah, because that is the default. But this still says stuff. This really should say fields description, which would be high. Interesting. Well, let's go ahead and change this to be, uh, you know. Wait, does a wooden chest even need? Probably not. Like, no duh, you dummy, it's a wooden chest. So why even have info text for it. That's kind of silly. I'll just get rid of it. Okay, so I'm going to have to do a function. Now, I've done stuff with functions before. I just don't remember how or in what mods I had done that. Let me find... Just going to try this quick. And see if that's being done with a function. My landscaping, and there should be. Oh, this is a huge mess. Okay, how does this work? So I have all of these. Oh, wait, that is done in the machine code. On receive field, fields retain, then set string, form spec retaining walls. Bad papers. Okay, so that's just changing which form spec is visible. It's not really changing anything inside of the form spec. The vending machine one here actually switches the nodes and then throws that code in, but I'm not switching the nodes. I'm keeping the same node. Um, the other one I could try. And uh, I think that would be nodes. I have a fire in one of these. Um, I'm at a set string. Okay, so we're setting strings. Don't I run this through a function somewhere? Oh, wait! I'm an idiot. It's probably in there too, but... Um, why am I trying my just drinks? I have it in here for the the barrels and stuff. Okay, let's try, I don't know which which code this is in, so many files, in the machines maybe? Idle form spec, running form spec, error form spec. Okay, well, I mean, that's, that's cool and all, but, uh, it's not the one I want. Interesting. Very interesting. This is all just the presses. What about storage? What what file is that in? Um, this is interesting. Oh, right here it is. Functions. All right, and then we return a form spec after we pass the fruit name and fullness and max. Okay, so this is all we have to do. Theoretically, this will work. We will change this to be a function. Uh, and we're going to call the function storage.woodenchest form spec, I guess. Uh, and then we need some variables that we're going to pass to it, which there'll be one, which is the name. And then we actually just go ahead and spell the word local, right? Local form spec equals this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we want to return form spec and end. 
All right, so now we're past, I can get rid of that local name because we're doing that. And then when the save button is pressed, then we do want to do that. And we also want to run the function storage wooden chest form spec. And we want to pass the variable of fields description. I don't know if it's going to let me pass a table value. But there's only one way to find out, right? So far, so good. That's promising. It says hi. Let's save it. It says stuff. It says stuff. Nothing new there. And it says hi. And it says stuff. Interesting. Okay, so what we might need to do is go ahead and just do local name equals fields description and then go ahead and pass the variable of name. It may do the trick. Uh, and we'll just throw some random text there. Okay. We have some errors. It says stuff. It says stuff. ADF is a great name and it still says stuff. No, I want it to be like labeled as cobble and dirt. If field save, then set string info text field description. So we know it's saving, right? Local name fields description. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm returning the form spec. Let's take a look at the machine. What is this function called? Liquid storage form spec. Liquid storage meta set string form spec. Oh, yeah, I suppose I do need to set that as the form spec, don't I? All right, so meta set string form spec, and then I just call the function. Wooden chest form spec. Uh, we do need to pass the variable name through yet. And then we can get rid of that function because that function never actually did anything. Boy, I feel like an idiot now. All right, let's, uh, let's, ooh. Now we get attempt to index global metal. Why didn't you guys tell me that I typed the word metal instead of meta? I don't even know how I did that, but that was not intentional. Okay, so if everything's gone to plan, it says dirt, it says dirt, right click and it says dirt, nice. Um, I might just, I might change this. Cobble, it still says cobble. The whole label text thing is just kind of dumb to me. Like it's not, it doesn't make sense. Maybe I'll put a, a little graphic of like a, uh, what are those things called? A name tag, but it's not a name tag. Um, they're usually like that kind of thicker manila paper or cardboard or like what manila folders are made of. I don't know if that's paper or cardboard, but, uh, they're kind of rectangular. And then at the one end, they kind of point off and there's a little hole punched in them usually and there's a wire and use it for like taking your luggage and stuff. That would make sense, I feel like, to put there. And then yeah, now if I do change it to dirt and uppercase, it doesn't matter. You have to hit the save button, which makes sense to me. Um, yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay, well that, oh, I've only been doing 40 minutes. That's not bad at all. That's how you make a chest. 
Just, uh, don't be stupid like I was and screw everything up. And then, uh, whoa. And then have to go looking through other codes to figure out what in the world you did wrong. Because that's, that's not fun. Especially when you're embarrassing yourself around the entire world. You could also, like, troll people and say it's gold. And then it's not gold. And, like, this could be full of gravel. And I could have this. And somebody comes up and, like, oh, it's just full of meese. And it's full of gravel. Or it's empty. Alright, so we can pass the table value as the variable and it works so that's nice and that's that folks it's how to make a chest and it works with anything else you just have to call the form spec oh but you know what I bet we do have a problem if I put a new one out Wait, now I can't even open it? What? Oh. Yeah, no doubt I can't because they don't have form specs set up. Okay, well, it's a good thing I tried that. Alright, so... Yeah, I can no longer set string form spec. I need to set string... Oh, this actually isn't even a big deal, though. Because... Now I just pass a variable right here. Which, for all intents and purposes, <laughs> I did not want to parenthesize fields.description. I just wanted to put it as a blank. So now when you open it, yeah, it just it's blank. And you can put whatever you want in there. Alright, let me see if I can... I imagine I can just have nothing as the label text. Same reason why you couldn't. Okay, and theoretically, if I save this, it goes away. Yep. And it actually saves instant, so... And if I want, I can even keep it as nothing, and then I get nothing on mouse over. Because the info text is just blank. Alright, that's beautiful. Um, I don't think anybody's really going to be interested in watching me make a little tag icon. Or put that in here, so I will... Not even bother having done this video. This went way too long. Way longer than it should have. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, guys. I am starting work on, and this won't be done until late 2018 probably, a curriculum to teach how to write mods for mind test. Swing over to my blog if you're interested on NathanSalpat.com. I think backslash dev blog. You can find it real easy there, though. And uh, no, wait, dev blog is this. Uh, it doesn't actually have a page set up yet. I'll have to do that. But I am starting work on it. It's going to teach everything about how to write your own mods, starting complete beginner up to more experienced advanced stuff. This is going to be a paid curriculum, though. I'm not sure where I'm going to be hosting it, but it will be something you have to pay to see. I do need some beta testers, though, who will get free access to the course, of course. And, uh, you know, as I'm working on it, be able to look at all of the scripts that I'm writing for everything and let me know if something needs clarification or, you know, things like that. And then you get, once the course is released, you get a free pass to it as well. So if you're interested in that, whether you're a brand new beginner and you've never done a line of code in your life, or if you've been writing code for years, all levels welcome because this is going to be kind of geared towards beginners at the start, but it will build up to more advanced stuff. So whatever level you're at, I can use your feedback. Or you think, wow, this is really, I'm confused because I've never done any code before. And you're using terms that I don't understand, you know, then I could it's like, oh, I didn't even realize that. So I'm just going to shut up about it. But if you're interested, visit my website, you can read more about it there. Contact me, let me know you're interested. And I will be in touch with you and as this progresses I will yeah be passing material out to people and we'll try to build something great
that's gonna wrap it up guys thanks for watching i will see you next time